A medical researcher from the Dominican Republic believes his book on herbal medicines can empower marginalized groups with the necessary data to make informed health decisions. Dr. Lionel Robino traveled throughout the region facilitating ethnobotanical research to identify medicinal plants commonly used in traditional medicine. He is currently in St. Lucia sharing his findings. I think it's, it's very important, um, especially for poor people, because uh, these plants, they already know them, but uh, sometimes they are not very sure if it's toxic or not, and, and so on. So with this information, uh, they may believe more than, uh, about their own plants and uh, their own knowledge. So our program is about health, but it's about uh, culture too. The author has already compiled a book on 100 plus plants. We have already published the Caribbean um, Herbal Pharmacopoeia and you can see it on uh, internet, just uh, marketramil.net and you, you will get the pharmacopoeia in French, Spanish and English. And uh, on this pharmacopoeia we have 100 plants already with all the information, not only botanical or traditional use, but uh, toxicity, biological activity. Dr. Robino says his findings indicate that traditional knowledge on herbal plants mostly holds, and scientific evidence substantiates and quantifies these claims. We just confirm that the popular use is a logical and uh, good knowledge. Uh, even if they don't have a scientific basis, yes. but uh, uh, the experience yes. uh, and the long time of use, uh, so the people at last they know if a plant is toxic, they don't use it, and that's yes. all. Yes. Uh, so, but we have uh, an official labs, uh, labs, uh, I mean uh, uh, university labs confirmation. St. Lucia medicinal plant researcher Laurent Jean-Pierre, affectionately known as Jomo, provided his expertise to Dr. Robineau. He says the research will ensure the clinical efficacy and safety of herbal medicines. With scientific rigor, as I've said, yes. so it's not just hearsay. Yes. These are things that were put under the microscope, under the, you know, and, and scientific research, not just saying, you know, because that's what we were accused of was the scientific basis, the, the European trained doctors would say, well, well, how do you quantify it? And so forth, it's not just three leaves, four leaves, how do you all know? So we had to go through that process, but to, and to retain the traditionalness of it, yes. nonetheless, you know? Yes. So we can safely say now, that things like Gopopo is efficacious for, for common colds, and so many others. Now we have a list of them now, properly studied, and so we can go to the world and say, hey, that came out of the knowledge of our ancestors. Entrepreneurs are encouraged to use the information to develop and promote herbal products. Dr. Robineau, with the help of various universities, has conducted research in most of the region, including Dominica and Cuba. The research does not cover the Dutch-speaking countries. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.